Good morning, traders. Welcome to Privateer FX Asian Preview, North American Wrap. Let's start out in the currencies. It's an extremely quiet day during the New York session, but there were some moves overnight um, in the uh, in the European session. So you see, we took out this high one uh, one twenty three ninety five. Another high here one twenty three ninety four. So some break traders got long up in here this is a four hour chart and look how it kind of failed pretty miserably actually and then had a, a big down move so all the all the most recent longs puked out of this um, on the way back down and then we've since rallied back up and what got down to a low 123.37 um, again this just seems range bound to higher but a very very quiet day cable a little bit more interesting we'll take a look at this we had their jobs numbers out you see we have a perfect doji here big down bar here failed up here 120 uh, 143 45 50 and then was just kind of grinding lower and we closed down at 142 85 so you know the sentiment positioning is is very long euro and uh and sentiment's quite high in sterling and I'm wondering if we've kind of done enough in the short term. Um, the dollar did turn around, at least against cable and euro and Australian dollar, uh, strengthened quite a bit during, uh, you know, kind of mid-London session and then during our day. Aussie, not a whole lot going on here. Uh, Kiwi, certainly a tad weak we went down we took out yesterday's low got down to 27. Um, i do have the take a look here the 200 hour moving average we breached it and then started trading back above it so it kind of 200 hour kind of saved it for the short term we do have kiwi cpi coming out tomorrow so i suspect that this will just range trade until then Dollar yen is is a bit of an odd one for for all of us. Um, even with the dollar strength in middle of London into early New York, dollar yen stayed very heavy. So I guess it was a bit of cross yen selling, and then it's been pretty much sideways. But uh, you know we do have this old hourly low here, one hundred six eighty eight. Today's low was one hundred six eighty nine ninety ish. Maybe a little bit of a break trade under there. Um, but it is interesting when you've had some dollar strength across Australian dollar, you know, versus Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar against the euro weakness that showed up today, at least initially, um, and cable. Dollar yen stayed, stayed awfully heavy. So let's pop over the daily charts and then we'll get into the... Uh, Take a look at the equities because it was definitely a risk on day in the uh, in the equity space. Aussie and daily, nothing, nothing much really. CAD yen, a lot of indecision here. So we've had you know three kind of doji-ish type days in a row. That's got to make a move soon. It's consolidating. Urien, nothing much. Got down to the. Uh, is that the 200 day is 132.20 so we saw just a little bit below there today close back above it sterling yen which has been on a massive run higher let's take a look at a fib here now that i got the so what we like to do here big fan of the fibonacci's keep it simple just with the retracements we take that high that was set back in uh early february to the low in March, and look where we are failing in sterling yen. Interesting, three quarters FIBO. So we've had a couple daily highs right just above it, barely piercing, and then today we had the down day. Um, you know, maybe this has had a nice run. Maybe this is time for a little bit of a correction. And I'm not sure if it's going to be sterling weakness or yen strength, but my guess is sterling weakness. A lot of people were asking me today, you know, why is dollar yen so weak? I do think that with Abe's uh, approval ratings dropping dramatically over the past few weeks because of this land scandal that we've highlighted and we've talk, 
talked about in the past. I think that has something to do with it. Certainly, it's not correlated at all with equities, and we'll jump over to the stock page now. But you can see, uh, you can see what the uh, let's go to the cash SPX. Oh, let's go to the S and P mini. S and P mini. We've now retraced to the two thirds, twenty seven ten level. Twenty six eighty was that half of twenty seven ten. Um, so dollar yen has been weak, even while the S and P's have been rallying and the Nasdaq's been rallying, the Nikkei's been rallying. So um, China shares were weak again overnight. We'll see what they do today. Um, but I think the I think the dollar yen weakness. I think people are a little bit concerned about Abe and his uh, the longevity of his. His, uh, his term because uh, he's feeling the pressure from the public and I, we do think this could be like more of a multi-month type trade where perhaps it uh, it comes off um, if he's either pushed out and there's a snap election um, you know a, a new leader in Japan that would that would be very disruptive so maybe some of that is is getting priced in right now, and hence the the underperformance in dollar yen versus some of the other dollars, and more importantly, risk and U.S. yields. Uh, Nasdaq didn't quite get to the two thirds, but this is something we're watching. We'll be looking to fade this tonight and tomorrow. 68, 68. It's only 45 points higher, so that could be there in no time. Um, what else are we looking at here? FTSE. Big run up from these lows, big down day today. No clue why, but I watch the FTSE very closely. I think it's a good uh, leading indicator for uh, other equity markets. Gold uh, slightly higher on the day. Silver actually had kind of a powerful day. So the gold-silver ratio is uh, silver outperforming gold. Um, we had talked a little bit about silver, I think, last week. Uh, started getting long down here around 1650 and now we closed above the 200 day which we haven't done in quite some time we've pierced it we got a lot of highs here in silver this looks a little bit breaky to me so let's go back to our trusty fibs let's see where things can retrace to if you use this high back in late january to the march 20th low the half fib has contained it. The 200-day, 100-day on a closing basis has done a pretty good job of containing it. Massively sideways. This looks like the dollar index. It looks like the euro chart. You know, just think volatility. You know, if I had like a Bollinger Band up here, this thing would be very, very tight. Uh, volatility very, uh, very contained. So to me, silver might be telling us something. If we get above the 1690, we're not too far. You know, I think we get... You know, the target that we had for this was 17, 17.30, somewhere up there. Oil, uh, after yesterday's down day, we had a uh, slightly higher, kind of a reversal higher day. Nothing too exciting. And the VIX, the lowest levels we have seen in ages. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five. Straight down red bars. Closing under the 100-day. Still above the 200-day. Something to watch. Above 20, we like risk lower. Below 20, we're buying risk dips. Anyhow, uh, that should do it for today. Good luck trading and Bank of Canada tomorrow. Uh, maybe we should take a quick look at the let's take a quick look at dollar CAD chart. Sorry, this has been going on a little bit longer than normal, uh, given that there was very little activity. But it, it's good, you know, we're approaching midweek and. The, the event risk of the week, I would say, is tomorrow's Bank of Canada meeting. We're two out of the 22 analysts are expecting a rate hike. And, uh, you know, if they did hike rates, you'd have a big push down here in dollar CAD. But this move is, you know, has gone from 131.20 all the way down to 125.20, call it. And uh, it seems a little bit extended. Um, I could see no change with rates. And maybe then, you know, and we'll see see what the message is.
tomorrow in their uh, their post uh, the post uh, rate announcement uh, presser. But I'm starting to like, you know, if we get close to 125, this old this Fibo 124.70, I think it's time to get long this again. It'd be short Canadian dollar against. Uh, you can pick it. Um, it can be against a dollar. It can be against the yen. Whatever. Whatever your whatever your uh, choice is. But uh, I would imagine there'll be some action tomorrow. Dollar CAD. Uh, 10 a.m. New York. 9 a.m. Chicago. Okay, that's enough. Uh, good luck trading, and we will speak down the European Open. All the best. Cheers.